Hello, welcome to another session on insulation wherein we have started explaining or taking up questions on area of trapezium and polygons. Uh, for the first two or three questions I'll be taking on trapezium. The first one, Sidon, <coughs> this is one of the very basic and the direct questions you come across when uh, given. Let's find the area of a trapezium because all the dimensions will be given to you. Uh, our area of trapezium whose base is given as 15 centimeter and height 8 centimeter and if the side parallel to the given base is 9 centimeter long. So this is one of the very direct question wherein you simply apply the formula half sum of the bases this base, sorry, some of the parallel sides, the base is given to be 15, the other parallel side is given to be 9, and the height is given as 8. This is the very, very basic question you come across. I think if you calculate this, you will be coming across 96 centimeters square. But uh, I mean, this question can be reframed as finding out the height or the altitude when the area and the rest of the dimensions are given. I move on to take up a different application and write out the question here first. It will take a couple of minutes. The area, the area of a trapezium. is 91 square centimeters and its height is 7 centimeter. If one of the parallel sides is longer than the other by 8 centimeter we have to find the oh sorry find the two parallel sides so we let us first write down what does the formula inform us about the area it says area which is given as 90 oh sorry 91 centimeter square is equal to half the sum of parallel sides multiplied by height which is given as 7. Now if the if one of the parallel sides is longer than the other by 8 herein I say if let the smaller side be x centimeter so the other side sorry will be x plus 8 centimeter now so herein we'll be putting up sum of the two sides right here so sum of the two parallel sides become sorry this is one side is x the other is x plus 8 thereby making it as 2x plus 8 here i write 2x plus 8 sorry this is now to be calculated and found at the x as right let us now start doing so mm, so it is 7 multiplied to 2x that is 14x plus 7 8 so 56 thereby making it 91 and if we cross multiply it becomes 91 multiplied to 2 that's giving me 182 
14 x then becomes 182 minus 56 that is 126 now 126 divided by 14 oh sorry divided by 14 is giving me x which is 9 so one side which we had assumed to be nine x is got 9 I'll write so the smaller side the length of the smaller side is 9 centimeter and the other one the longer side is we had taken it as x plus 8 so it is 9 plus 8 and that's given us 17 centimeter this is another you know kind of application we now move on with one more question where in the sides are given in the ratio form I again take a couple of minutes to note down the question the area of a trapezium is 384 square centimeters its parallel sides are in the ratio 3 is to 5 and the perpendicular sorry distance between them is 12 centimeter find the length of each one of the parallel sides sorry so the area is given there is now the parallel sides are in the ratio 3 is to 5 so we will assume the parallel sides to be let the length of the parallel sides be 3x and 5x so we will substitute them in the formula area formula so it is half Sum of the parallel sides will make it 3x plus 5x and the height will be 12, right? Thereby giving the area 384. We now solve this. I'm getting this is 8x into 12. This is equal to 384 multiplied to 2 and thereby giving me x will be 384 into 2 by 12 into 8 right we now simply solve this and find x first this is 6 right now we see 384 divided by 8 gives us 48 and I'm getting 6 8 48 now x is 8 so we had assumed our two sides to be 3x and 5x so 3 8 is one side it will be 3x that is 3 into 8 that is 24 centimeter and the other side is 5x that is 5 eighths of 40 centimeter. I'll now take a question on polygon into the next screen. So there is a hexagon given. A regular hexagon my figure might not look like one still just remember this is a regular hexagon okay 
and it is named as this is m n o p q and this is r this is m n o p q r is a regular hexagon of side it is given as 5 cm each we have to find the area in two different ways right question reads as find the area in two different ways in two different ways right See the first method I can take up here, I write the first way. I can just simply draw it differently also. First way is just divide this two with a line in between joining M, N and Q. Thereby just it doesn't look like one but it is there, it is a trapezium like the one M, N, O, R, M, N, Q, R. It becomes a trapezium and there is the other one on the other side. So let us find the area of the trapezium. Area of M, N, Q, R. So that's a trapezium and we just learned how to find the area of a trapezium. So it will be half sum of the two parallel sides. Now, what is the length of this NQ? See, so MR is 5. We just need to see what is NQ and also the perpendicular height of this, I mean this one. We need to know this one as well to substitute it there, right? Sorry, I think I uh, missed informing or certain part of the figure as well, which also informs us that it's like drawn like this. I will just be putting here. My figure doesn't look that though. This is given to be 8. Like this whole distance is given as 8. And this distance like between Q and n is informed to be 11 i'll just put them here this is 8 given and this is 11 given right so it simply we can put it here as 5 plus 11 and this height will be given actually this is also given if i mean rest of them we can know that if this is 8 this will be 4 so height will be 4 because this part whole is 8 so we take this as 4 that is a perpendicular height this way I'm getting as 2 into 16 into 4, so it is to 32, I think. This is 32. But this is the area of one trapezium. We had divided the whole hexagon into two trapeziums, so the area of the whole hexagon becomes 64. I think all of them are in centimeters, so it is in centimeter square. This is one way of finding out. The other way will be using different color to do it. I can divide this as like this. The middle part will be a rectangle and there will be two triangle. So the second way I write here, the second way can be the second way will be find first area of oh sorry, it's all this area of triangle m n o plus area of the rectangle m o p and r and again area of the rectangle of sorry area of the triangle r p o right so area of m n o will be given by half See, these two are equal. We can multiply, I mean, add, um, make them two equal. So that is half base that I'm taking as OM into 
O N, right? If I'm doing it right, not O N, this will be T, right? <coughs> N T, sorry. You have two similar triangles. I multiply it by 2 plus area of the rectangle that is given as M O multiplied to O P, right? <coughs> We can simply now input all the substitute all the values we know. So it is half. This is eight. Nt. We need to find nt. That will be. I think we have taken this as four, isn't it? So what will be our nt? How do we find this nt? This whole is given to be 11, right? Now out of this 11, this part that is t and I can name this as um, st. st will be 5. So 11 minus st is 5. So the rest of it actually is 11 minus 5. That's given as 6. Now 6 has to be divided between nt and sq. So that's divided by 2 that's giving us 3. So we will take this as 3 multiplied to 2 plus mo into op. So mo into op will be like 8 and 5. So if we solve this is getting cancelled here 4. 3, 4 is a 12, 12 to 24 plus I think it is 40. That will obviously when both way, whatever, whichever way you follow the area of the trapezium will remain 64. Hope you followed this. We move on to another session. Thank you.